Sometimes when we're thinking about simulations, we just come up with a whole range of difficulties that might often be logistic, that we've got too many students or we haven't got enough space or we haven't got enough time where we can do things in a classroom. And certainly in those situations, I think we can be thinking about building in an online element. Sometimes game simulations can be played out entirely online in an asynchronous fashion. So you say, over this week, you need to have uh, an interaction on this particular topic and at the end of it you have to produce uh, this kind of document or this kind of resolution. Or you might do it by saying we're going to have regular blocks of time where I expect people to be online to interact with each other and we build up some kind of interaction that way. But I think the online element is also something that can be built into face-to-face -face simulations as well. But particularly with larger games and longer games, which are taking uh, more than a day and involve more than, say, 20, 30 people, having an online pathway of interaction can be very useful. Particularly if you're trying to build collaborative documents, then it's very easy to set up a wiki page or some kind of uh, online forum, either using your university's proprietary system or free online uh, resources. And doing that means that students who typically will have access to a laptop or to a smartphone can build resources whilst they are talking. And that tends to be a much more efficient way of doing things than the old basis of using uh, scraps of paper or writing things on the whiteboard. So it helps students to capture what they're doing. It helps to provide another channel of communication. And particularly for those of us who are interested in looking at uh, social organisations, whether that's political, economic, legal or whatever, often it helps us uh, the students to understand that there's a difference between the formal debate and the informal debate that goes around that. So yes, we can and uh, should think about online elements. Whether that replaces the face-to-face -face game is something that depends a bit on your circumstances and a bit on what you're trying to achieve as well. I think the final point on this though is that face-to-face -face contact allows for a much greater range of interaction. That if we're interested in sociological or psychological processes of uh, how people interact with each other, which I think we are as social scientists, then the face-to-face -face element needs to be there. That the non-verbal communication, the group dynamics, those kind of processes only really come out uh, clearly to students in that uh, physical interaction. We can contrast that with online interaction, but the contrast requires there to be a physical uh, co-location.